Uganda's Olympic preparations ran into a speed bump when the team returned three positive cases for COVID-19. Two of those positives were returned by Bombers coach Patrick Lehanda, who represented Uganda at lightweight at the 1988 Olympics in Seoul, South Korea. But with 12 days left to the start of the 2020 Games in Tokyo, things have started to look up for Uganda's boxing team. The team includes welterweight Shadir Musa, middleweight David Semuju, and flyweight Catherine Nanziri, who is in line to become the first Ugandan female boxer to compete at the Olympics. Boxers have uh, begun training about uh, two days ago. Uh, you know we had issues of COVID uh, whereby our coach had tested positive and this in a way uh, couldn't enable them to continue the training sessions. But now they, are, they, they began training uh, a few days ago. Uh, we have about 12 days to the, uh, to, the, to the competitions, so we hope that in the next 12 days we'll be able to get some bit of fitness for the athletes and uh, we'll be able to compete and be ready for the competitions. Uh, and we're only hoping that no other person tests positive for COVID. If you, uh, you return a positive result, it's going to be very hard for any of them to be in the competitions. Four of the seven medals Uganda has won at the Olympics have come from the boxing ring. Leo Rawogo with two from 1968 and 1972, Eridad Mukwanga in 1968, and John the Beast Mugabe in 1984 have boxing boasting of being Uganda's most successful sport at the Games. Uganda Boxing Federation President Moses Mohanji believes they can add to that tally. Uh, we are trying to make sure the team gets to, to Sembo uh, again the way it should have done. And uh, we, we hope for the best. Boxing has always been a big spot for Uganda in terms of medal collections. And we are still hopeful we'll make uh, some medals for the country and uh, make Ugandans proud. So we are optimistic as a federation, myself as president, and I know my boxers will do it. Uh, forget about the challenges that have happened, but now it's the time to concentrate and make sure we win medals. Mohanji has also moved to incentivize Uganda's three boxers in Tokyo. Uh, after the Olympics, one, uh, if they win the medals, uh, I myself as president have already outlined the presents for them or the gifts. Uh, I remember some time back I pledged uh, money trophies for them or, or cash prizes and uh, I promised five million for the gold medal and three million for the silver medal, then one million for the bronze medal. Uh, so that is still standing and whoever wins will get that kind of money. So it was two million for the bronze medal and then one million for any coach uh, for as long as we win a medal from these games. The Boxing Federation has plans for the boxers when they return from Japan. Uh, we have a program coming up called the Champions League, uh, the Uganda Boxing Champions League, which we're going to resume here locally in Uganda, and we'll have athletes at that level. And it's going to be like a league, uh, which they're going to be doing on a weekly basis. And we hope that will keep them in circulation, keep their talents on top of the game, and also keep them busy as athletes as we prepare them to turn professional boxers. Uh, some will opt for that direction, others could turn professional straight from Japan. The most feasible option is for them to uh, enroll into the Champions League and they become local stars in the country. And that way, by the time they turn pro, they will have a huge following and they're able to make money. So the program for them is already listed. We just have to sit down with them and argue on which best approach to take.